You're going to start by getting a single footlock, either with the dancer's footlock or the figure eight, doesn't matter. Separating the poles, and if my right foot is the one that's locked, my right shoulder leads through the middle. Next, I'm going to make sure that the pole that's closest to me is in the small of my back. And you can test that by arching back like this. Next, both hands on the, that pole, and I roll over my left shoulder. So if my right foot is locked, I'm going to roll to the left. Just like the regular twirly, I'm going to push it down and repeat the sequence. Keeping this in the small of my back the whole time. Now if you have a really flexible back, it looks really nice, you can bend and let go, but I'm going to keep holding on. Another position that you can do after you have two rolls is hook the pole and then you can let go, keeping nice and engaged. And you can even play with different positions, very similar to an arrow. To get out, both hands are going to return to the pole and I'm going to roll the opposite direction. So this will be over my right shoulder once, twice, and then I'm free.